simplicity, versatility, encore. In an endeavor to support physicians' efforts to diagnose breast disease, Cenerex has developed the Encore vacuum-assisted breast biopsy system. Encore's elegance is centered on its simplicity and versatility and is compatible with all three imaging modalities, ultrasound, stereotactic, and MRI. Along with state-of-the-art functionality, the Cenerex Encore MRI system meets the interventional demands of the breast care physician in the MRI environment. This presentation will focus on the Encore MRI system setup, which is quick and easy and minimizes the duration of the procedure while maximizing patient care. With the region of interest identified on the diagnostic MRI, the breast is stabilized in the well of the coil. With mild compression applied, the surface of the breast tissue should pillow between the fenestrations of the interventional grid. In order to provide a reference point for targeting, a fiducial block is then placed in a relevant fenestration away from the suspected region of interest, but where contact with the surface of the breast is made. With the patient in the scanner, initial pre- and post-contrast images of the breast are collected. This information will be used in the verification of the region of interest as well as planning the interventional approach. After the interventional approach is finalized, the surface of the breast in and around the appropriate grid fenestration should be disinfected. The patented Cenerex MRI interventional locking block is then used to further define the targeting approach within the grid fenestration. As opposed to the limited nine or less points of access that are provided by many of the other systems on the market today, the Cenerex MRI locking block provides 13 points of access within each fenestration of the grid. Once the lesion position is determined, the locking block is loosely inserted into the fenestration. A skin mark on the surface of the breast is then created within the selected area of the block. Remove the block and administer the preferred anesthetic, both superficially and deep in the region of interest. A skin nick is then made in the same location. The predetermined depth to the region of interest is then set on the Encore coaxial cannula by positioning the leading edge of the depth stop. It is this final position of the depth stop that maintains access to the region of interest for all of the Encore interventional instruments during the procedure. The trocar is then advanced into the cannula until it is flush with the cannula hub. Using the predetermined opening, the locking block is then placed over the trocar shaft. The tip of the trocar is then placed into the skin nick and the Encore locking block is positioned into the predetermined orientation and seated into the fenestration of the grid and locked into place with the exclusive locking mechanism. The locking mechanism further stabilizes the block within the fenestration, providing for a precise and accurate trajectory to the lesion. The trocar is then advanced to the desired depth. To reduce pushback, a gentle clockwise counterclockwise rotation of the trocar and cannula is performed during insertion until the depth stop mates with the locking block. Once this is done, the depth stop is slightly rotated clockwise to lock it into the locking block. The trocar is then removed and replaced with the patented Encore Visiloc obturator, which will allow for easy visual verification of position prior to sampling. Once the Visiloc obturator is in place, the patient is re-imaged. The resulting images should provide confirmation of precise targeting. The distal end of the Visiloc obturator denotes the center of the Encore MRI sampling notch. The Cenerex Encore driver is then attached to the Encore probe. The Encore probes come in either a blunt tip or a patented triconcave trocar tip. The Visiloc obturator is then withdrawn from the cannula and the Encore MRI probe inserted. The Encore MRI features a truly closed system. Samples are acquired through the probe and automatically transferred out of the breast into a collection chamber. Individual samples, however, can be retrieved during the case for further inspection. Once the samples are collected, the Encore MRI probe is removed from the cannula and the Senomark UltraCore for MRI marker applicator inserted until the applicator adapter seats firmly into the cannula hub. The Senomark UltraCore MRI applicator is then unlocked by rotating the plunger clockwise 90 degrees. 
The plunger is then advanced in a single fluid motion to ensure proper deployment of the Senomark pad train within the biopsy cavity. The procedure is completed according to each facility preference and protocol. The Encore Breast Biopsy System from Senorax. Elegance through simplicity and versatility.